Hey guys, Andy with All Games Played here to share with you guys another video about shiny hunting. I felt really bad and I feel like I owe this video to you guys because the last video I put out about two weeks ago regarding shiny hunting was a little misleading and you guys let me know that in the comments and, and the dislikes on that video showed that I was, I guess I wasn't being honest. Um, it was a how to on how to shiny hunt and it was early and no one really knew any tips or tricks. And uh, I honestly was really new to it. I only had one or two shinies. By this time, I have about six or seven shinies, and I found a couple of different ways that you can maximize your shiny hunting, and I'm going to share that with you. Uh, before we do, though, I do want to show you some of my favorites. I've got my shiny Ekans. I've got my shiny Voltorb. These are ones that I've been meaning to, uh, to evolve. Some of my evolved ones, I've got my Machamp. Oh, it's so awesome. My Marowak, and then I have a myriad of other shinies that uh, apparently aren't here. I don't, I don't know where they're at. I've got a Meowth somewhere that's chilling and and whatnot. Oh, look at my Jolteon. Oh, hi, pretty Jolteon. Anyway, let me share with you guys, you know, the best things that you can do here to shiny hunt. So first and foremost, decorations. Decorations are important. Uh, I talked about it before, but you need to buy the the DLC the thirty dollar DLC it's a hundred percent worth it you get four times the pots which means you're gonna have up to at least eight you know te technically eight chances for a Pokemon if you do it right uh, the Lapras pool is really important because that ups the chance for you to get uh, more than one Pokemon and then I wanted to show you guys the second thing that you should buy if you want to have a higher chance of getting Pokemon. Uh, you come, oops, I hit the wrong button. Sorry about that, I'm not perfect. Decorations uh, for your guys' chance of multiplying your Pokemon. Uh, if you come over here and get the Pikachu Surfboard, it gives you another 1.5. So I would definitely, if I were you, save up 400, which I'm doing, and buy the Pikachu Surfboard. Uh, it'll, it'll give you both of those. Now, people have been asking, do you have to have the decorations out on your base? And no. If you've bought them, the multiplier does include it. I also recommend that you get a couple others like the Dodrio which gives you um, gray. It gives you a chance to get more gray items. Jolteon, Flareon, and Vaporeon, they give me like 1.5 chance to get more of the respective colors. Uh, and that, I guess that's another tip and trick is you want to get the multipliers so when you're going out on expeditions uh, you're maximizing the amount that you get. Uh, on a side note as well, I recommend that you go and do all of the bosses if you want to get more ingredients. Ingredients are important, obviously, because it helps you get more Pokemon. This brings me on to my next tip. Check this out. So this is, uh, this is a thing. It's called the give up trick. You're probably wondering, why would you do that? So I just went into a thing. Alright, it went me, brought me down from 3 to 2. It actually takes a tick off of your pots, off of the stews that you do. The give up trick. You just, people have been doing it. You just save up your energy. You go on an expedition and then you give up. And that'll, uh, that'll like increase your turnaround for the energy and for uh, cooking your pots. Nextly is PM tickets. PM tickets are important because, well, once you run out, and after you've bought all your decorations, once you've run out, you can use PM tickets to reset your battery. So if you couple that with the give up trick, you use the PM tickets, well, you're going to be able to turn around a lot more stews, effectively increasing your chances and your odds to get a shiny Pokemon. Uh, on another side note, every day you get more PM tickets. If you didn't buy this additional p uh, content, you're only going to get about 50 a day. It raises to 190 if you buy the DLC, so I highly recommend that you do that. Uh, next but not least, what I recommend doing is uh, knowing your evolution levels. So if you're like me and you have a handful of Pokemon that are just sitting there that are shiny, like for instance, uh, I was telling you guys about my Ekans. This Ekans right here. Not that one. This one. Or even the Meowth that I was telling you about. Let me show you my Meowth. Uh, I, I couldn't even tell that this was even shiny. But I think it's because of his feet. His feet make it shiny. 
Uh, the shiny map Meowth doesn't evolve to per per Persian 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 uh, until 36, and that's typically the evolved levels. 36 for first stage. If you've got a third stage, like for instance this Machamp, you know Machoke, Machop, it's 28 and then 36. So those are important for you to know. Last but not least, I highly recommend that you guys know your your decor your recipes. That's going to be the last and final important aspect. This is a recipe list that I got from Reddit, so it's it's definitely not at all my credit. I give credit to that user. I think his name is Skyblurb. Uh, anyway, he came up with this recipe list that I highly recommend that you guys take a screen cap of because it's really good really really good um, it gives you basically all of the most known recipes and then it also ranks them one that I highly recommend the ground one where it's three big roots and then the icy that is a level three you know special recipe uh, it's got seven expedition energies that y is required and it, it gives you a, a nice Pokemon every single time. I highly recommend that you put the most energy towards that. All right. Well, thank you so much, guys. I hope this was helpful for you guys. It's not very long, but I hope those tips and tricks help you in your shiny hunting. They certainly have helped me and I've, I've loved it. I've had so much success utilizing these different uh, those different tips and tricks. I also give credit to uh, the Super Arcanine, I think that's his name. He's a shiny hunt hunter, and I got the give up trick idea from him. Anyway, hit like if you like, subscribe if you want to see more. Andy with all games played, signing out.